It'll go dish, dish, dish into so the bread. So where? If you hit it there, the get, white there. Get, get some form. If you get yeah, it there, explain, you, I explain exactly what you're saying, Mark. So look, so look, this is quite simple. That white ball goes there. From there, it's going to go whoosh. And from there, it's going to go ding, And that's going to go <laughs> See? Simples. Well, I think it was so hard. Hey guys, so we're obviously at Google Drive and rather, rather busy, busy and getting on with stuff. So away from the charts today, which is a bit of a different one for me and for James. So um, in today's video, you guys will be getting, uh, before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe, you comment and you thumbs the beep, beep, beep up. And most importantly, in today's episode, you'll be getting a pretty much a rundown from Atish on Q&A from inspiring traders and getting all of your questions answered. I mean, what a great episode. So guys, enjoy, and I'll be updating you on my journey at Google with James. So guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoy our daily vlog. What do you think about this for an entry on dollar frank? So I've entered already. Yeah, you entered down here. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just on that, that second bar. So I would still consider that a good entry. Why I entered. Nice upward moving chart. I think if you go to the one hour, you'll see you're definitely in an uptrend, which is what I go for in terms of confirmation. Yeah. Um, so 15 minute and one hour confirmation works well for me. Did you sure? No, he went on. Yeah, oh, he, he got, he yeah, went he got in like just, just after this. Just a tad late. But I think technically that you know that looks like a good setup to clear up trends. Uh, market sold off, comes down, tests the UK pivot, slows down. It's, it's pretty much what we're after. How, how many Batman's have you found this week? Loads. Really? Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. From good. Double figures. Good. And I think that's the thing. That what you may have thought the type of trader that you may have been in terms of the short term um, nature of scalping and what you might prefer. You know, two different things. Um, I, that bench trades for me are absolutely no brain. Um, it's hands off, no emotion involved. Check it every hour. Yeah. Um, I, know, I was looking at short in dollar yen last night yeah. on the backbone and then I was saying for Aussie dollar and US dollar a couple of days ago. Um, but I don't know whether you could leave them for more than... Um, yeah, generally speaking, I mean take it with a pinch of salt, but generally speaking four or five hours on the low side, um, up until three or four days I've felt that bench before and they generally work out really well. Um, the only downside I think is you've allocated your 1% risk to that pair and now you can't scalp it because obviously you wouldn't want to enter it more than 1%. Yeah. Um, so that's the only opportunity cost you have to think about. But if you're in a backbone trade, I'm pretty confident it's going to come come through really well. In which case, you know, you're not going to be too bothered. About and that's within 50 pips stop loss. Yeah, yeah. Minimum. minimum 50, I'd say. Uh, I'm in short on euro yen, but I didn't think that affected much. Euro yen, so you're fine, no issue there. Um, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, so I would probably. I've already got one percent on the on the dollar cad though. My general rule of thumb is between the eight majors or, or nine currency pairs that you are you're focusing on, um, not to have more than three pairs on at the same time. Only because once you start entering more than three, you'll realise that you're either battling yourself or, or worse or yeah. you're in the opening one. No, I've never had more than three on that time. Yeah, good, good. Guys. So I was just spending some time with our aspiring junior traders, um, having a look at their positions and what they've been doing over the course of the last few days. Um, it was difficult, I needed to keep my cards close to my chest because I'm in a few of the positions that they're also in, but I didn't want to let them know that. I wanted them to kind of make their own decisions and see how the trades fare out. So we're in a dollar short and a dollar fish franc long, and we're gonna see how these, how these uh, pan out for the rest of the day, um, and we'll keep on track of them. Some of us, can I, can I, some of us do a lot of work around here. Others, <laughs> others on the other hand, not so much. Well, others actually smash our workouts. So like, you know, we could do it instead of like being long all day doing one thing. Um, dollar Swiss franc. Yeah, yeah. Pretty well. Did it pretty well? Yeah. What did you do with it? Did you hold it or is it once or running? I'm on it, I'll yeah. take profit. Yeah. I take my, move my stop loss up to a gain of 115 pips. And managing, managing the actual trade itself is, is basically what's going to determine the, out, the outcome of that position. So, so keep an eye on it. I've personally moved to break even. Um, I'm halfway to my target on both of them or ex uh, exceeded that. So I'm at break even now, um, not willing to lose anything on that position. And uh, hopefully Swiss franc's going to hit the previous highs, dollar, uh, euro dollar's going to hit the previous lows and we'll take it from there. So 
just close out of a couple of positions. Uh, really happy on today's short scalps that we've taken. Uh, particularly happy the fact that our aspiring traders um, seem to pick up on those same moves um, and they're all currently um, locking in profit, which is fantastic. I've just closed mine out at the previous highs. I see some selling momentum come into play. Um, so I'm quite happy to close that. And you can see our trade plotter just demonstrates um, our entry and exit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and if there's anything else you'd like us to go through please comment uh, so we know and we'll definitely be sure to help you along your way. Um, like, subscribe, comment, the usual stuff and we'll see you guys soon. Take care.